All right. I'm ready to rock whatever you guys are. Hi, I'm Jason. Are we doing this very formal? Yeah, let's do it formally. Zach Vincent, nice to meet you. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! What was that? What did you do? Come on, go sit down. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna screw around. I'll play it real. I promise. Cool. I was just well, a joke. So, the thing is, so many people already, down. already think that it's acting in the first place. Right. A lot of people think it's not real. It's fake. It's acting. Whatever it is. So we want to make this as real as possible. And if it doesn't work, I don't want you to act like it. Bart, I'm sit right here next to me. Right. Okay. And if it doesn't work, can you say that again. If it doesn't work, I don't want you to pretend. And just uh, of course. Say, no, I'm not okay. gonna. I'm not gonna do that. How, did you, how did you get into hypnotizing people? So I started teaching myself, actually. You did? I did. I but picked up some books and some DVDs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not supposed to know that. Who, who did you talk to? It's not the way it works. But no, so I, my first time seeing a hypnotist was on a college campus myself, freshman year. The show came in. Really? I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. This is amazing. Really? And I never thought that I would become a hypnotist. I just okay. thought this was amazing and this was incredible. Okay. And before then, I started learning magic a little bit, so I taught myself sleight of hand and card tricks. Fun. Did comedy a little bit, so I know you do comedy as well too. So I did a little stand up, little improv, and was like, you know what? Did magic, did comedy, why not try hypnosis? And that was the one that I really enjoyed. Right in the middle, you just don't sleep. Okay, okay, okay. So, you're ready for it, aren't you? I'm ready. I, my, I need a video. Did you yeah, so. get hypnotized when you first saw the hypnotist, or you watched him do other So people? I did. So the first show, I saw a couple shows before I did it myself. The first time I just watched it, I thought it was so cool. The second time, I decided to get hypnotized because I wanted to see what it was like and experience it and then saw it again and then I started doing it myself and then started on YouTube and TikTok and when, videos when, blew up when you walked in the room and you saw all of us could you eye you don't have to say who it is but did you eye anyone you're like oh yeah that person I can get I can put under so I mean we didn't have many conversations so right. a lot of times it's understanding how open and where they're at with it mm -hmm. so it's less so just what people look like like I wish I could just look like and be like you're getting hypnotized yeah. you're not you're yeah, open yeah. you're not right, right. but it comes down to when we're doing it right because as a hypnotist I'm sort of the instruction giver, right? So I give you the process to experience hypnosis. As okay. much as it would be cool if I could just go sleep and then you pass out, right? <laughs> it's, it's not my control, it's not magic like that. But what it is, is through following the instructions, directives that I give, you okay. allow yourself to go into a certain state. Okay. Hypnosis is actually kind of like when you dream. You know that what's happening in the dream isn't real, but while you're in the dream, it feels real. And no one would say they're acting in their dream because they're so immersed in it, as much as it's not real, they are immersed in that experience psychologically that it feels real. However, you're never gonna dream if you refuse to fall asleep and if you're like, I'm not gonna dream, I'm gonna stay awake the whole time. So <laughs> so like when I've seen like good hypnotists on TV, I'll see somebody that they're like, You're a deer, whatever, and they're actually like, you're a deer. And they and then when they come out of that, do they remember being a deer? Sometimes they do, sometimes, sometimes they don't. They different don't. people are different. Right. So, and sometimes what I'll do at the end is I'll specifically have people not remember temporarily so they don't think, and then I'll give back that memory to see sort of the light bulb come back. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, kind of like when you have that deja vu moment. Like, did that happen? Did that happen? All right, Susie, you ready? I'm first. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to go first. first. I'm, I'm first. Susie, don't you don't have to. I, 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 can go, I can go first. I'm, I'm afraid that I... I'm too anxiety ridden that I won't. That's exactly. Won't I'm kind of nervous. I want to see other another person do it and then I'll do it. But and I'm gonna do it for sure. And I don't know if we can put him under, right? He's like not 18. No, that's not the way it works. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just, what do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I mean, it just sounds like an ayahuasca trip preparation. <laughs> <laughs> this, I know, is, like, this is the state you're gonna be so, in. So yeah, we did yeah. the lie detector to him, and I felt bad about that. I mean, David made him believe he was invisible well, for 45 and, minutes. So, often, think, oftentimes. 45 minutes? You thought he was invisible until this day. <laughs> I have to remind him he's not invisible 20 minutes ago. <laughs> well, well, oftentimes, people that are younger tend to be more open to the experience. Yeah, that's true. Right. Right. Let's go, baby. So, whatever happens, happens. Has anyone been Have hypnotized before? No. No, 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 no I have No. No. What, what exactly happens? Okay. Is it kind of like meditating? It is. So the difference, that's a really great question. So, and I'm sure people watching are probably wondering like, what's the difference between hypnosis and meditation? Mm -hmm. The difference is hypnosis is simply meditation with utilization. So what that means is that when you're meditating, you often get really relaxed and you go into a trance just for the sake of clearing your mind and being at peace. Okay. And then you come out of it. Mm -hmm. Hypnosis is you go into that same meditative state, but then once you're in there, that's when you start giving yourself, or I give you as a hypnotist, certain suggestions or ideas that while you're in that state, just like in a dream, mm -hmm. it feels real, even though it's not, while you're immersed in that state, you sort of have a different experience of reality. Can you help me with my night eating? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you? Yeah. Let's do that today. I'll go first. <laughs> oh, okay. You ready to ready? Rock? I mean, well, you're, you're gonna, ready. You eat at night? Like, what do you do? Oh my God, it's the worst. 
I go in my bed, I sit there, and then I can't fall asleep, and I know the only way to fall asleep is if I eat some Pringles or something like that. <laughs> and then I sit there and I fight with myself, and then it'll get to be like three in the morning. Oh, then I'll go to bed for like an hour, and then I'll wake up and I'll be so, I'll be so like, God, I, I need to sleep so I can have a productive day tomorrow. So then I'll run upstairs, I'll eat a bunch of Pringles. And, like, <laughs> and that's, that's a really good point because in a way, <laughs> that's a sort that's of a hypnosis. In so, it, yeah, yes. Because all hypnosis is, is getting your mind to believe something with complete conviction, whether yeah. or not it's true. So some of the crazy videos that I do of hypnotizing people do all these silly things that we might do today, even though they're not true, the mind believes it and thinks it's true. With you eating Pringles and thinking that I have to eat the chips before I go to bed, we know intuitively it's not true, but the mind feels like it's true so much that it actually creates your reality out of that belief that then you can't fall asleep until you've eaten that. Right. So if we interrupt that pattern, get rid of that belief, you don't no longer have that, you no longer need that, you can sleep just fine without it. Right. But that's exactly what will happen through this whole process, whether it's something that's more serious and helpful like the night eating, or whether it's something fun and silly to make good content, whatever it might be, it's just the process of allowing your mind to believe something to the point that it feels real. Right. Or, you wanna start? Or maybe he could just yes. not buy Pringles from the store. <laughs> 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 It certainly helps. It's like the alcoholic not going to the bar, right? It's right. like proximity. Why do you look at me like that? I have kids, so they, they come here and they're like, where are the snacks? And I'm like, oh. Well, you I lock their rooms you know? <laughs> I tried once locking up all the snacks in my house when we lived on Alta View, Matt. Right. And then at night, I, I locked up the cabinets and I gave the key to Wyatt and my son. And then uh, and I said, whatever happens, do not, don't give me the do key. not wake me up. I do not give me the key yeah. in the middle of the night. Yeah. And then what happened? I woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of broke Shook him upside down for the key. Right? He's like, I can't give it to you. Then I got it out of him, though. <laughs> Can we get the key? Great memory. Why the kids. Yeah. Can we get the key? Yeah. Did you like that story? Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, let's, right. let's go. You're, you're ready. Rock, ready to roll. Yeah, I didn't sleep a lot last night, so I feel like maybe So you're I'll already relaxed, relaxed, already tired. You're super tired, right. yeah. And so like I said, the best way for you to get this to work for you is to simply just allow yourself to follow the instructions. Sort of as I start to talk and do this process, I want you to imagine that my voice becomes your thoughts. Because the fastest way for you to make the experience not work is to get caught up in your own head. Because if you're in your head, you're not in the experience. So if you want to get hypnotized, you want to focus on my voice and everything that I'm saying. Right. And even though some part of your mind will know that it's not real, don't listen to that part. Got it. Just like in a dream, if you were to tell yourself, oh, I can't fly, I can't, I don't have powers, I can't, you wrote it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Even though you know it's not real, but that's not the fun of it. It's the fun is allowing yourself to get immersed in it that it feels real in that moment. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. All right. So what I'll have you do actually is I'll have you put your left arm out for me just like this. Squeeze that hand into a fist. And I'll have you just stare at the back of the fist for me. Just look right there. Let yourself take a deep breath in, breathe out. And I want you to just lock your eyes right there. I want you to imagine your eyes have become like a laser beam, just locked on the back of your hand. And as your eyes have become like a laser beam on that spot, I want your mind to become like a laser beam on the sound of my voice, tuning out any other noises, any other distractions, focusing only on my voice. Another breath in, let it out peacefully. Your eyes stay there, your mind stays in the sound of my voice. No matter what, you'll always hear my voice. You'll always focus on my voice and only my voice through this experience, through this process. And in a moment, I'm gonna have you take a third breath in. And this time as you breathe out, I simply want you to just close your eyes and let you get as relaxed as possible as you breathe in. Breathe out, let yourself relax down now. And let yourself, eyes closed, relax. That's right. Let yourself relax every muscle, every nerve, every fiber from the top of your head down to the tip of your toes. I want you to let this arm get so relaxed that it just falls down to your side. That's right, relax even deeper, even further. Focus on the sound of my voice. Anytime you hear me snap, it helps you relax even deeper. Anytime I hear you snap, it helps you focus on my voice even more. That snap helps you relax. And in fact, when I say the word sleep, the word sleep doesn't mean you fall asleep. You don't go asleep, you just relax even deeper as you sleep even further, focusing on the sound of my voice, tuning out any other noises, any other distractions, focusing only on my voice. That's right. Breath in, breathe out. Let yourself slow. relax even deeper, even further. You can tell you're still holding on to some tension. Why don't you just release that tension now? Let that tension go. That's right. Any tension physically, even further now. Any tension mentally, any resistance, let that go now. That's right. Just let yourself sleep. And even though some part of your mind knows you're not actually asleep, you can just ignore that part of your mind and just focus on my voice as if my voice was your mind. 
as if my voice was your mind that is you telling you to allow yourself to relax even deeper and even further into this trance as you sleep. That's right, every muscle nerve fiber, tuning out any other noises, distractions. Sleep. That's right. Anytime I say that word, even more relaxed, even deeper relaxed, whether your eyes are open or closed, that word sleep just helps you relax even further. Go ahead and keep that feeling of relaxation, but go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, eyes open. Wait, you doing good? Doing good? Focus right here on the center of my hand for me. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Let yourself sleep. That relaxation returns all the way down. Even deeper now, sleep all the way down. That's right. Relax further all the way. Loose limp, relax. Loose limp, relax. Just let yourself go all the way down. That's right. Focus on the sound of my voice. That's right. And in fact, I want you to allow yourself to sit up a little bit, keep your eyes closed, keep that relaxing feeling. That's right. And as you focus on the sound of my voice, I want you to create this experience in your mind and your imagination. I want you to imagine that just your eyelids weigh 10,000 pounds. Imagine your eyelids are so heavy that they cannot and will not open. And the more you try to open your eyes, the more they're completely stuck. And in fact, when you can feel this feeling, I want you to test it out and show yourself that as you try to open your eyes, they become so stuck they won't open. Really try and notice they're heavy, they won't open. The more you try, the heavier they get. Until I snap my fingers, you find they can open easily. One, two, three, eyes open just like that. All right. You good? Yeah. Did you notice that feeling of heaviness? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and deep breath in. Breathe out, sleep. Back down in an amazing state of relaxation. Focus on the sound of my voice even deeper. Sinking, drifting, floating, every muscle, there are fiber, sleep. All the way down that amazing state of relaxation. That's right. And as you focus on my voice, you'll find that any belief, any idea, any suggestion that I give you in this state becomes your reality. And as you focus on the sound of my voice, I want you to imagine, as you continue to relax even deeper and even further, this right arm that I'm touching now, this right arm suddenly becomes so light. Go ahead and allow your eyes to close. Drop all the way down. Focus on my voice, nothing else. Just keep this feeling of relaxation. But imagine this arm that I'm tapping now. Imagine the more I tap it, the lighter it becomes. And even lighter it gets, the more it starts to lift. It starts to float. It becomes lighter than air as it starts to rise. All on its own now, it just gets lighter and lighter, that arm floating, drifting. Imagine it's just made of helium as it just floats up to the sky. As you relax even deeper, even further, that arm, that's right, gets lighter and lighter. And the lighter it gets, the more higher it gets. The higher it gets, the lighter it gets as that arm rises higher and higher. And as soon as I tap that arm, you can allow it just to drop back to your lap and let yourself relax even deeper as you sleep now, all the way down that amazing state of relaxation, sinking, drifting, floating. That's right. And what you'll find is again, that in this state, a focus of concentration of relaxation. Any belief, any suggestion, any idea that I give you instantaneously becomes your reality. And what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, you realize that for the strangest reason, you've completely forgotten your own first name. Even though you know that you know your name, it's almost as if that name is just stuck somewhere in the back of your mind. It's like you've experienced deja vu before, but right now it's that deja vu with your first name. And the more you try to remember it, the more you completely forget it. No matter what, you completely forget your own first name next time you open your eyes. Feeling good, feeling amazing, good. And there's a one, two, three, awake, eyes open, doing good. All right, feel relaxed? Yeah, I know you say you didn't get much sleep last night, so that sort of helped feel of relaxation yeah, yeah, experience last night. Yeah. And now I know we're like filming the, the video and everything, but remind me again, your name was Jason. It was Jason. It took you it took you a moment to think about you had a bat, right? What the fuck? Yeah. Watch this. What you'll find is I tap you on the forehead and that name is just gone. And now when you try to remember it, it's just stuck there. Your name was <laughs> Here I tap you, it comes back, and now you know what your name is. Jason. Jason, there we go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you notice that experience of yeah. remembering to forget or forgetting to remember, but whatever it is, you notice that the name just goes and goes. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Go ahead and focus right here for me again. Deep breath in. Breathe out. That's right. Sleep. All the way back down in an amazing state of relaxation. Focus on the sound of my voice, sinking, drifting, floating all the way down now. That's right. Sleep. Next time you open your eyes, you're going to find it. You remember your name, your name is back to normal. However, you'll find that you've completely forgotten number two. It's as if the number two never existed. One comes before three, three comes after one. There is no no other number in the middle. Number two does not exist, no other number. You cannot remember that number, no matter what, next time you open your eyes. Go ahead and let yourself awake, eyes open, doing good. All right, now that's kind of a cool experience with your name, right? Do you notice that even though you knew you knew your name, it just like felt stuck, right? right? But you aren't pretending just to not know it. No. It actually just felt gone. The interesting thing is, I want you to put your left arm out again for him, but keep your fingers up like this. And with your right hand, I just want you to count how many fingers you have on your left hand. With this 
said? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. But this number is two, right? Yeah. But I want you to just imagine that number just gets further and further in your mind. Imagine it just sinking, going back further and further away until that number is just gone. And now go ahead and try to count those fingers again. You have eleven. <laughs> One, three, four, five. But what number is this? Okay. I want you to put, <laughs> let's, let's simplify this. I want you to put both hands out. What? How many total hands do you have right now? <laughs> this is hand number. One. And this is hand number. No. So you have one hand total. <laughs> okay. All right, I want you to put both hands together like this for me, and just sleep all the way back down in an amazing state of relaxation, sinking, drifting, floating, even deeper now. Sleep, relax, all the way down. That's right, all the way down, sinking, drifting, floating, sleep. Next time you open your eyes, you've no longer forgotten number and number. All the numbers are back to normal. However, what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, anytime I say the word hypnosis, that word has suddenly become the funniest word you've ever heard. I know you're a comedian, but that word just makes you laugh. The more I say it, the funnier it gets. Anytime I say that word, that word has become the funniest word you've ever heard. Good luck, so one, two, three, awake, eyes open. Doing good, doing good. And you said you've never done any hypnosis before, have you? No. <laughs> no. First time doing hypnosis? <laughs> what do you think about hypnosis so far? Fun experience? Yeah. It's funny. Hypnosis. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And now, I know you're a comedian yourself, right? You tell some jokes sometimes Sorry, a little bit. Yeah, but hypnosis is actually like, it's almost like a joke in and of itself, isn't it? Like, yeah. Just the idea of hypnosis just that becomes funnier and funnier, even though it's just a word. Hypnosis is just a word. For some reason, hypnosis just becomes really, really funny, right? But the, no, the interesting thing you can even notice is that word is suddenly no longer funny. Now it's just an ordinary word. And if I say hypnosis, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. hypnosis is all that it really is. Yeah, what, yeah. just the experience. It's, cool. it's what you're doing. It, it is exactly what I'm yeah. doing. All right, go ahead and look here. Actually, sleep all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation. Focus on the sound of my voice sinking, drifting, floating all the way down deeper, deeper. Sleep even more relaxed, the most relaxed you've been the whole time. Sleep all the way down. That's right, focusing on the sound of my voice. Next time you open your eyes, that word's no longer funny. Everything is now returned back to normal every single way. However, what you'll now find is that the next time you open your eyes, your friends all sitting around you have suddenly become strangers and you don't recognize a single person that is sitting around you. They are all strangers. You don't know who they are. You don't know why they're in your house or how they got here, but you do not recognize a single person sitting on this couch other than myself, everybody else, all your friends have become strangers next time you open your eyes. Go to the of one, two, three, awake, eyes open. Doing good? Feeling good? You're relaxed? Yeah. And you say you've never done any of those just before, right? First time. Yeah, but you brought some people along to get to experience it with you, right? Yeah. Yeah? Do you, you know these guys, right? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I know them. Yeah, okay. Well, watch, their identity suddenly gets further and further in your mind. The more you think of it, the more it just escapes you to the fact that next time you open your eyes, you're going to find you don't know them at all now. Eyes open. You said you know who they are, right? You know, you know, you know that? No, I don't know that. that his name <laughs> <laughs> but his name was... I don't know, I didn't know your name. <laughs> you, know, you know her, right? You don't? <laughs> you, you know his name? Yeah. His name is... Jason. How does she know your name? <laughs> and you don't know her at all. No. No. Watch, you recognize them now. Eyes open. You, you said you don't know her? No, it's easy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> right. Of course. And who is that? That's Mike. That's Mike. Yeah, Susie, Mike, you know these guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, pretty cool. Focus here, sleep, all the way back down to the amazing state of relaxation, sinking, drifting, floating. All the way down, sleep, even more relaxed, deeper, all the way down. Next time you open your eyes, you're going to find that you recognize everybody, everything is now returned back to normal. However, I want you to imagine that next time you open your eyes, any time that I clap my hands, I suddenly become completely invisible. I literally disappear in front of you. Deep breath in, breathe out, sleep even deeper. Anytime I clap my hands, I become completely invisible and you cannot see me no matter what. 
It's as if your mind might know I'm there, but your eyes just can't see me, can't process me. When I clap my hands, I become completely invisible. If I clap again, you can see me again. But I become completely invisible anytime I clap my hands. Next time you open your eyes. Good, let yourself one, two, three, awake. Eyes open, doing good. Feeling relaxed? Feeling good, yeah. You guys can even see, like you notice how his demeanor has changed. It's much yeah. more just in the zone, feeling good. Nice trance. And now uh, notice you can you can see me sitting right here next to you, right? But notice what happens if I do this. <laughs> no, I see you. See? But watch this. You can see me now, but I want you to just imagine that I start to get blurrier and blurrier, almost as if I start to disappear further and further, that when I clap my hands again, I just completely go invisible now, and you can't see me. Can you hear me? Yeah. But what do you see? I can see you. Oh, you, can, you still can't see me, right? <laughs> Good. I'm sitting here? It's gonna be, yeah. What? I know you're here. You know it, yeah. And <laughs> this is, this is actually, you notice I'm here, which is good. But this is actually really cool. I can see you. You can see me. Yeah. And now, if he was faking and pretending, he would just pretend that he could not have seen me, mm -hmm. right? So this is actually good. I like when stuff doesn't, quote, work like this because you know it's not mind control. I'm not controlling his mind to say he's helpless to these ideas and suggestions, but his mind can choose to process the ones he think would be interesting to process. Like, oh, it would be interesting to think, what if I could forget my name or a number or think something was funny or not recognize my friends? But some part of his mind is still being like, well, no, I know I can always see him. I know he's always there. So it almost thinks that suggestion is too ridiculous to be true, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you know it's not mind control, because if it was, he wouldn't have been able to do that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that- and I would love to have said I couldn't see you. Yeah. Well, what yeah, if- I can. You can. But what if, I want you just to close your eyes for me, but I want you just imagine that idea that you know that you can't see me, correct? Yeah. Why don't you just imagine, just for a moment, that that idea is just gone. That idea that you know you can't see me has just left your mind, gone away, just for a couple minutes. And even though you know that's what's true, just for a moment, make it not true. And make it that for the next time you open your eyes, you're going to completely not see me. I want you to imagine. You know what it would look like if I was gone. You could imagine seeing the pieces, the things around me, that I would be invisible. But you know that your mind is strong enough that whatever you can believe and conceive, your mind can achieve. And you know that your mind can get to this point where next time you open your eyes, your imagination will be so strong that it will no longer feel like imagination, but it will feel real that you will not be able to see me next time you open your eyes. I become completely invisible. Now, eyes open. All right. That's all good. <laughs> it's all good. All good. But again, that's the fun thing is that the people watching this will know, okay. It was also hard with the chopper. Oh, true. Sometimes it distracts things, right? It was like, oh. But I, I definitely feel like um, better than I felt all day. Like I felt awful all day because I didn't yeah. sleep. But I feel like this side of my brain is like um, completely different. Yeah. And like completely. Feels a, little bit, a little bit more relaxed. Good. Like yeah. in a good way. This side. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because the right the right hemisphere, I might be mixing them up, but I'm pretty sure the right hemisphere of the brain is more the analytical side of the brain, which is more uh, the processing screen. And the right hem left hemisphere is more the creative, the fun, free-flowing. And when you go into trance, what happens is the analytical part of your mind relaxes and slows down. So that's exactly what's happening. Is because if you were so in your mind and analyzing everything, you'd be like, but I know my name but I know them, but I know this isn't funny. And you'd be too overthinking it that you wouldn't be in the experience. But when you go into trance, you let that part relax so that you can still have the experience. Right. But there's still a little part of that side of your brain that's not relaxed because it's still analyzing enough the idea that, but I know that I can see you and I don't want yeah. that to be true, right? But I think that's always, to me, I always think it's better when some stuff doesn't work because then the people watching know that, okay, yeah. if it was fake, you'd act like everything was working yeah, or if yeah, it was yeah, mind yeah, control, yeah. you wouldn't help it. But that's how you know it's a real state, it's a real experience. You know you feel different, you know the other experiences you had, but just this one in particular felt a little bit different. So now I don't want to eat Pringles? Well, we can do that. You want to do that? You want to, well, <laughs> no, we'll, I'll let somebody else well, go. Let's, you let's, let's finish that. We'll, let's okay, finish it finish. out. Right. We'll do that last thing for you, and then we'll let other people get right. that experience. Because I want to make sure you get that sort of gift. All right, no Pringles. No Pringles. All right. No more Pringles. <laughs> 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 but what if, what if he... This is kind of like a dumb question to ask, but what if he quits the Pringles and he starts something else? That's a really good point. Yeah. Right? But what we want to do... smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's often the thing, is that when people have... Oh, I don't mean to say that this is an addiction. People have like an addiction or a no, problem or something they can't overcome, is that 
it's often not the addiction to the thing, it's an addiction to meeting the need that that thing is doing. For right. You, right. So whether it's comfort or security course, or yeah. peace of mind, whatever it is, that's why people will quit smoking and then they'll start overeating mm -hmm. or they'll stop overeating and then they'll go on drugs or whatever it is. Right. Yeah. It's because that need for certainty, for security, for love, for safety, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. is not necessarily being met. Right. So what we'll do, it's a great point. I didn't even, you brought that up for me. It's like, yeah. you're a hypnotist in self. You know <laughs> yeah, what's I, going I, on, right? I, I think about these things. Good, all right. So, but what we'll do is just off of your intuition, I want you to just think for a moment, Jason, and think why it's so important for you to have those wrinkles. And I don't want you to overthink it too much. I want you to let that analytical part of your brain just relax and just focus on my voice. But I want you to just, Instinct, the first thing that comes up, why does it feel so important for you to eat those chips at night? Just go ahead and say the first thing that comes to your mind. Why is it so important? It puts you to sleep. Puts you to sleep. But what about the chips put you to sleep? I, th I feel like there's like some sort of like chemical thing that like happens in my body once it like carbs hit it. That yeah, it once carbs hit it. Because you know carbs can get people relaxed and help people sleep, right? But you know that's not the only way to sleep, right? And you know that even though carbs can help, it's not the only way, and that there are actually much better ways, and that in a way, you know that the carbs make it harder for you to sleep, because then you're digesting more in your sleep, and then that actually reduces the quality of your sleep to the point where even though your mind has tricked you to believe that she thinks the carbs make you sleep better, what actually happens is that carbs make you sleep worse, because then you have this guilt on your conscience that you just ate carbs before going to bed, didn't you? And that guilt makes it a little bit harder to actually fall asleep and to relax because you're overthinking. And the fastest way to lose sleep is to overthink. So in a way, no, I go right out. You go right out. <laughs> the right. next day, I feel the next guilty, day yeah. you feel guilty, right? But then it just becomes a cycle, right? Right. You go right out because your mind has convinced you that the belief that the chips will work it does. It's called a placebo, right? And that actually happened to me once growing up too. Is that when I was a little kid, I couldn't sleep, and my dad gave me a piece of candy and said, "This is sleep medicine. It'll put you right to sleep." And I knocked right out. Mm -hmm. And I, next day I said, "Oh, can I have another?" sleep medicine, I can't sleep. It's like, oh, that was just candy. Uh, I didn't tell you, it was nothing, but I believed that it would work and it did. And it's the same thing. These chips have become like a sleep medicine, yeah. but they come with the side effect of the guilt, of the weight, of the unhealthiness that comes with it, right? So we want a better sleep medicine, okay. all right? I want you, to, and what I'll do is I'll actually give you a replacement. So like you said, is that, okay, what happens when he doesn't eat the chips, what will he do instead? I want to give you the replacement, okay? This is crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, it's psychology. And psychology can, can make the brain better or worse, but the idea is what we want to do is make it better, okay? okay? Yeah. So what I want you to do is, I want you to take your, your thumb and your next finger for me. I want you to just start to rub them together, just like this. And I want you to notice, just look at that and rubbing together. I want you to notice the feeling. You start to feel more relaxed as you start to rub them together. You notice that feeling, you start to get more relaxed. Mm -hmm. And whether you rub them in a circular motion or up and down or side to side, just notice that the more you rub them together, the more it starts. You relax, and in fact, if you rub them a little bit slower, you notice you get even more relaxed. You notice how you start to get more relaxed. So relaxed, your eyes start to close. That's right. And I say it gets slower and slower. It gets slower and slower to the point that it helps you relax. Now you can sleep. That's right. Feeling good. Go ahead and let yourself. One, two, three. Awake. Eyes open. Doing good. I want you to try that again. All right. Arm out. Thumb and finger together. Start to rub them together. And as you rub them, feel that feeling of relaxation start to come on. As it slows down, more and more relaxed slows down to the point you get so relaxed you just let yourself sleep on your own that's right go in one two three eyes open one more time thumb and finger together start to rub them together notice you get more and more relaxed so relaxed it slows down in fact all on your own it'll slow down to the point where you can allow yourself just to go back to that feeling of relaxation on your own right now that's right all the way down all the way down now that's right feeling amazing, feeling incredible. And I want you to allow this conditioning in your mind to know that this conditioning of you being able to rub your thumb and your finger together is not just in this moment, but anytime you need to sleep, anytime you need to relax, whether it's at night, whether it's taking a nap, whenever it may be, if you simply just rub your finger and your thumb together just like that, your mind has conditioned it to allow you to be able to relax. So if you feel tired, your mind actually knows that it doesn't need the chips, it doesn't need the carbs, it simply just needs this new tool, this new conditioning that you've installed in your mind that you know will work anytime you need it to work. And just like any tool, any conditioning, the more you do it, the better it will work. Mm -hmm. So the first time it might make a few, take a few minutes to get there, and next time it might take even shorter and shorter until you'll be able to just allow yourself to relax, no problem. Do you already start to feel that? I like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> feel that? I feel now he's like, I'm gonna go for a nap now, right? You can well, look at the beer. Yeah. 
you to get purples and make a joke. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. It really worked great. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm making a joke. Here, watch this. Sarah, get this. That's literally. So I bet it's my own backyard. Oh, wait. I'll pick it up later. What, are you out of footage? Ow! Wow! <laughs> I could have eaten those Pringles. <laughs> Those more effective way to get rid of but yeah, you notice you have that feeling, and now you can just give that. No, I like that a lot. Like that, that made me feel really tired. <laughs> you notice even doing it now. Oh, yeah. Fall asleep, it was working so well. Mm-hmm. You fall asleep too? Oh, the army. <laughs> I'm just thought about the Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> but see, when you change the conditioning in your mind, the conditioning yeah. changes the beliefs. So yeah. when you realize that this is more powerful than the chips, yeah, it's achieving the same result, but a little bit better. <laughs>